When I was a kid living in Canada, each Sunday after Mass, my mother would take us all, Brother John, Steve, Mike, Sister Megan and I, Daniel, to the fish and chip shop. Although fish and chips were widely available in Canada, they were brought to Canada by the British many years ago. Although having recently moved to the United States, I do miss the often visited fish and chip shops. Even though this delicacy has been around for eons, one would believe that I could find a decent shop. I am still looking. Having spent time in England in recent times, there is no question that the British are still king in taste with their beer battered coated delicacy. I ate it every day without question. Fish and chips are the undisputed national dish of Great Britain, becoming a cultural and culinary symbol of Great Britain, instantly recognized as British the world over. The origins and development of the dish in the mid-19th century are closely associated with the Industrial Revolution, and it has maintained huge popularity as the original, affordable, and nutritious takeaway ever since. By 1910, there were perhaps 25,000 fish and chip shops around Great Britain, picking at 35,000 by 1927 and between the wars, most industrial towns boasted a fish and chip shop on almost every street. Since the end of the Second World War, the food landscape in Great Britain has changed in many ways, and although it's unlikely the number of fish and chip shops will ever again reach the levels of 1920s and 30s, the demand for the dish has remained the same. Today some 10,500 businesses provide the nation with a similar volume of fish and chips to those of the post-war years, 